Hey guys, it's the Average Joe back with another video and today we are looking at the Pelican Voyager case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, Pelican, they make some wonderful, rugged, tough cases for a lot of different genres of products. So um, they, you know, a while back they branched out into the cell phone market with their tough, rugged cases. This one offers 18 feet five and a half meters of drop protection which is pretty awesome uh it does come with its own holster and a kickstand uh, i know a lot of people really don't use holsters much these days but you know that's it's still a neat thing to have it is magsafe compatible uh this is the clear case this is the box uh this is some more stuff about the case right there you get the lifetime guarantee military grade drop protection sustainable packaging um yeah and it's antimicrobial so you know that it's going to be pretty sanitary when you're using it uh so without any further ado let's crack it open and get into the case um i do have you know just guys if you find my channel you know helpful in any way and you know you want to help me out <laughs> i am a smaller channel uh I'm, i am thankful though that i'm at over 400 subscribe subscribers but if you guys was, I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe, hit the bell notification for more videos like this. I do have more on the way and uh, you'll get notified when the videos go up. And you know, if you find the review for this case helpful, please leave a like down below. I'll have everything linked below as well. And let me know in the comment section, uh, how are you feeling about Pelican? You think they're doing all right in the in the case game, or you think they should just kind of let it go and maybe just stick with what they're good at? But anyway, this is the case. Uh, I'm gonna just rotate it this way to get it out, I believe. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do 90 degrees. And then rotate this, oh, fold both sides and to just pop it out okay um let's see if i can get it going okay there we go so that's that and we are met with the case uh so you're gonna just kind of push this and pop it out that unlashes the case we'll put that aside for now and we'll take this inside thing part out a little description about this it is a two-piece set it says right here you got to uh, separate the inner layer from the outer layer and then put the phone in. Yeah. Um, so I'll just go that way. Just squeeze down on the volume buttons and just kind of cause the separation. Um, there we go. And then nothing else. And so that's kind of how we put the phone in. So I'm going to put the back. I got my phone here, I'm gonna put the put this down um, and then we're gonna put this in. So she's just snapping pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. So that's that. And it is in. And I'm gonna say I, I like this back part. It feels nice. Uh, it is plastic, it's not glass, but it's got a nice feel to it and i do like how uh i don't know if you can see it on camera but it's raised all around so if you put this down uh the back shell is not going to get scratched it's protected and i like that the magsafe ring is not like painted on or like a sticker or something i think it's because it might be on the inside or i don't know but i do like that because uh i know a lot of cheaper cases this is painted or like a sticker so we can scratch it off or remove it and you'll see the magnets uh, in the case. Uh, I do have the space black and you'll see here there's a cutout for the speaker. Uh, the bottom you'll see that the lightning port is covered so you know removing the cover is okay. It's not, it's not hard but I do not like that it just kind of snaps back in. Uh, I guess they did this so that you know it won't tear off or wiggle or be too loose or anything i guess i can get that and then i like how the speaker cutouts are you know they made it the proper length for each side and you get the pelican branding on the back 
because of the raised areas here on the border, they don't need to make this camera part too high up. So if you do this, the camera's good. I do have a tempered glass screen protector and this is not, so this thing kind of comes over the, the, the front of the phone a bit, but it's not to the point where the protector is being raised. Like there's no bubbling in the corners or the sides. So that's good. Let's, uh, let's check the buttons out. Okay. So the buttons have a nice, like thocky sound to it. Um, it's not, I don't, I mean, it's okay to press. It's not the easiest to press, but you can feel the buttons are, and when you do press it, you do heal here and feel that click. So you know that you've pressed the button. So that's good that they did that. And again, it's a thick case. So, you know, there's some extra layers that the buttons have to go through on the sides for it to click. Um, the mute rocker does have a cover. Um, it's easily accessed, but I think it's pretty shifted down. I don't know if you guys can see that, you know, so it is kind of a pain to get into, but you can get there. Uh, maybe if you have like really thick fingers, it might be tough, but I don't know. Um, the MagSafe, we got to test that out. So I got my MagSafe cable that's, I think, malfunctioning on me now. So the magnets are strong because I'm going to let you know right now, this case isn't the lightest case. It does add some heft to it, but you know, the magnets are strong. You saw, you heard that. Oh, okay. It's working now. It's charging, but you hear how it's lifting it up from the table right there. So it's got a good magnetic force to it. So MagSafe is not going to be an issue if you decide to put it on a stand or anything like that, or use a MagSafe wallet or accessory. I think depending on the accessory, because of the, the, the way the sides are, if it's maybe a little too big, it might not be too compatible with this case. Uh, I think this case MagSafe might be more of a, a use case if you're going to charge it more than use a MagSafe wallet or anything like that. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, I don't have a mag. Uh, let me see if I can fish out my MagSafe wallet. It's, it's been a while since I've used it, but I think for this particular situation, we might need to try it. So I have my Moft MagSafe wallet and stand here and okay, you're good. Uh, the wallet will fit. It's like perfect. It's like when they designed this, they designed it so that the MagSafe wallets will work. I mean, if, if yours is anything wider than this, it's not going to work. So that's just a frame of reference for you guys to have um, and to think about before buying this case. And if you are a serious MagSafe wallet user, then that's something you're going to want to take into consideration. Uh, but other than that, I think this case is pretty solid for what it is. A rugged case that you kind of want to use um, and not have to worry too much about. But let's, let's get to the little thing here. Uh, the bell clip so you could you you're gonna initially just slide it in and just push it in and you're good like that so it can either go this way or it can go this way depending on your your, your preference or maybe which side you know you carry your phone so i'm assuming if you're if it's on the right side of the waist you kind of want it this way so you just pull it out but if it's on the left side of your waist um, probably the camera is going to go towards you and you're going to want to push and slide out that way. Um, so another thing with this case, this kickstand is that it does provide a kickstand function. So I'm just going to put it in that way. And then this rotates 360 degrees. Um, so, so this part right here, if you just pull it out, although you hear that click, it turns it into a stand. So you can kind of use it to just watch your stuff. It is a pretty steep angle, but I think it's good enough for you to just kind of sit back and watch, you know, what you need to do. And then you're going to want to just push in. Um, 
and then it'll release that kickstand. So you just wanna do this to engage it and then push it again to release it. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's not that hard. It doesn't require a lot of force. Hey guys, one more thing. Um, removing the case is not as easy as you think it is like the OtterBox commuter. Uh, so what you have to do is get a coin and there's like a little groove opening right here in this corner. Uh, if you have a coin, you want to put it in, you want to twist it, and then it'll work. Uh, if you don't have a coin, you could use um, this part or any one of these parts of the holster. And you could just kind of put it in and then twist, and then it'll pry off. And then you just want to make your way around the case, like so, and it comes off. So, yeah. Yeah, so this has been the um, Pelican Voyager case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, thanks again, guys, for all the support. I appreciate it. Take it easy.